Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installations. Today we're doing a quick how-to video. A lot of you have been asking, how do I display or mirror link uh, what's displaying on my phone on my radio? Now we're gonna show you today a couple of fun parts and things that you'll need to make that work, but stay tuned, we're gonna show you how this all works. I'd like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sonic Electronics. So check them out for great deals on speakers, head units, amps, subs, wiring, etc. Use discount code PROVOBEAST for an instant 5% off your next purchase during checkout. Alright, so some of the parts you'll need, obviously you have your aftermarket radio. We have this Pioneer AVH-1300NEX. Now some of the parts that you'll need to make this work Mind you, and please note that this may differ depending on the radio that you have. Now, generally speaking, most aftermarket doubled-in uh, touchscreen radios will have some sort of video input. What we've picked up are three items. Now, we're using an iPhone here today with this iPhone. And, of course, it'll differ a little bit if you have Android. You're going to have to pick up this part. Now, iSimple... I was smart and they came up with this device that essentially turns a HDMI input into a composite output which will plug into your radio and that's what your radio can read. Now if you're <laughs> if you have already upgraded your radio to a radio that has HDMI input you won't even need this whatsoever um, but in the event you don't have that type um, this will be your solution. I'll throw a link down in the description if you want to pick one of these up. These are about 30 bucks on Amazon. Now, in addition to that, we have a Lightning Digital AV adapter. Now, what this does, it turns the Lightning port on the iPhone into a HDMI output and Lightning port as well. So, essentially, it allows you to tap into additional video features. Um, for output to be displayed on another screen. And finally here we have a uh, male to male uh, HDMI coupler. We'll show you why we picked this up here in a moment. So first things first, let's get this pulled apart here. So you have your input and this essentially is whatever device, whatever um, source that you plug into and it doesn't have to be a phone. It could be a gaming console, it could be a Blu-ray player, whatever you want, it goes in this input here. And then this is your output, which goes to your radio. Now, like I said, check to make sure your radio has these uh, composite inputs before you go ahead and purchase everything you see here today. Now, this has an HDMI output. Now, to make these work, to plug into each other, that's why we bought that coupler. Now, you don't have to get a male-to-male -male coupler. You can use any HDMI cable, but you're going to have a lot of extra cable laying around, and some people don't like that. It's too much. So we, instead of using just an HDMI cable, we picked up one of these. Go ahead and plug that on in. Plug that on into this. So this goes from the iPhone through your adapter, through the iSimple adapter, into the input of your radio. So an iLightning adapter to an RCA composite output. Pretty cool. So this will go into our radio. Okay, here on the back of the radio, we've located our video, our video input and our um, left and right inputs as well. So we will plug these on in here. One, two, and three, just like so. All right, so before we jump into things, we gotta make sure that AV input on the back of the radio has been turned on. So we'll go to our input output settings and our AV input has actually been set to off. So turn that on. Okay. At this point, what we'll want to do is we got our adapter here and our iPhone. We're going to go to our settings. Now this AV input has been activated. We're going to click on that. And what we're going to do, now plug in our phone. Now you may get this screen. Um, unfortunately, 
Pioneer doesn't allow you to use that AV input if you're in motion or if your parking brake hasn't been activated. And now of course they've gotten smart over the years and have introduced what we call a double pulse negative where essentially you have to put your parking brake on, release it, and put it back on again. Now there are ways around this, either you can put in a switch or you can get a micro bypass unit and we'll have a video on the channel here of how to bypass the video restriction on your Pioneer. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock our phone. Here's a picture of our daughter. All right, so and immediately, as you can see here, it's gonna display what's on the screen. Now, once you go to full screen mode, what it will do is actually go to full screen on the radio itself, so pretty cool. I mean, really, you can't navigate or adjust the phone specifically from the screen. You still have to touch the phone itself, but at least at this point, you can see what's playing on your radio from the phone. So any source, whether it's if you're running Plex for your home movies, you've got YouTube, Netflix, um, internet browsing, anything that displays on the phone will go here. Now, of course, you're not limited to just iPhones. You can do Androids or really any device that pulls from an HDMI input as this iSimple adapter is really flexible to whatever source you want to display on your radio. Again, like I said, make sure your radio has the right inputs. Um, and of course, we'll put a link in the description for our iSimple cable as well as if you have an iPhone itself, we'll put a link down for this lightning adapter. But that's about it. Super cool tutorial on how to use YouTube, Netflix, Plex, um, any video source specifically on your radio.